Come on, man. You gotta redeem yourself. Nah, I don't wanna be late. I'm on the same shift as Sonya Miles. Yo, she come by the pool, man. Watch your boy put the moves on one of the world's hottest lifeguards. I can't, man. I got chores. Brutal. Well, don't die, man. I'll try not to. Later, man. Well, later, big homie. Mom? Rage? Hello? about this. Uh, it's okay. Um, hey, I, man, my bad. I was just looking for the bathroom and I got kind of lost. Was, was somebody please tell oh, me I, what the hell's okay, going on? I'm sorry. Colton, this is Roger. Roger, this is my son, Colton. Hey, man, didn't mean to scare you. What's up, dude? Uh, Roger and I met on... Uh, we're going to Dozano's for a drink. Oh, Dozano's. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's great. Did you get that necklace there? Okay, would you just excuse us just for a Sure. Hey, dude, it was nice to meet you. him to go through the side door because I know how much of no. it sets you when I go out with No, anybody. not fair. It's not that. It's the fact that you meet these people on an app that my friends you. Well, what do you want me to do? Wait for your dad to come crawling back? You know I'd slam the door in his face if he did, but come on. He smells like cedar chips. Mom, he's, he's, he's wearing a safety pin on a bracelet. Okay, you know what, Colton? I'm really struggling here. I need you to make this easier on me, not harder. Can you just do that for me, please? Fine. Here. Okay, can you just please make sure that all the chores are done in the morning? Why do you want me to do all that lame crap Dad used to do? Why do you want me to be like that dick? You know what? If you want to talk like an adult, you better start acting like one. Your father was a dick for leaving us, not for taking care of this house. Now do it. Please. Yeah, why do we gotta varnish the chair? We just did it six months ago. Well, son, because a man... Shit! Ooh, you said the S word. Rach, not helpful. Okay, Mom's home. She said to tell you when dinner's ready, but maybe I won't. Damn it, Rach, seriously? You shouldn't swear. What if the neighbor's here? Yeah, well, we don't know them, okay? So I guess it doesn't matter. Just tell Mom I'll be in when I'm done with this, all right? And hey, don't tell her about this. Deal? Serious rage. Colton spilled that um chair stuff on mm. the patio today. Rachel. Take it easy. Come on, you're gonna have to start getting along better. Starting now. Why? Dropping off a camp on Monday. The wildfire threat is too high this year, so camp is canceled. Oh, that's too bad. So you're not going to Barcelona then? Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm going. Listen, as you know, things have not been going great around here for me lately, so I need this trip. With the girls, it's only two weeks. It's not two weeks, Mom. It's 16 days. Good memory, sweetie. You're right. Hold on. What's Rachel going to do? Well, you're a grown-up now. And as a grown-up, I need you to take on this responsibility. That is taking no. care of her and this house. What? Don't make this worse. She's already upset about missing camp. And you know what? You're not going to have this time together once you go off to college. Just take advantage of it. Take advantage of it? Mom, you said I could have the house to myself for two weeks. 16 <sighs> days, dummy. Yeah, exactly. 16 days of me in charge. So watch it. There's a new sheriff in town. Stop. Don't act that way towards your sister. You know what? I am done trying to keep the peace between the both of you anymore. Good. I just... 
You're excused, Colton. Thank you. Don't forget to take out the trash. Can I have his dessert? <sighs> Sorry, you can, sweetie. Mom, but according to you, I'm an adult now, so. Creepy place over there, Mom. You mean the old place across the street? Yeah, had anybody ever lived there? Like, before I was born or anything? I don't think I've ever seen anyone come in or out since we moved in. I think it's abandoned. That's weird. I saw something in there last night. I don't know, maybe somebody moved in. <laughs> Yo, you said somebody's living in that place? I don't know, man. I saw a light in there the other night. You ever seen anybody in there? Nope. But some skater kids broke in a while ago. Yeah? Yeah. They all vanished. Never heard from again. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm Look serious. I saw, I saw a light. All right? Light? Yeah. What light, Cope? I don't know. It disappeared. Disappeared, huh? Cool story, Cope. I always wanted to bust in there and throw like a lit ass Halloween party. Oh, and on that note, I'm taking a boat out this Saturday. What's your deal? Can't, man. Mom's going on a two-week vacation, so I gotta baby shit my stupid sister. Dude, that's perfect. You invite somebody over to keep you company. We love babysitting. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'll invite somebody over. My sister will be a third wheel. It'll be awesome, yeah. Maybe she can cook for us. <laughs> yeah, Rachel will cook for us. That'll be great. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Phone ringing. Look, my shift is starting, okay? But we gonna work on that girl situation. Yep. Get you a girl, bro. Uh-huh. Careful, sweetie. Maybe a few less rocks next time. <laughs> hey, I know this is a lot to ask. And I didn't mean for you to have to grow up this fast, but it's just the way things turn out. But I wouldn't have asked you to do this if I didn't really need it. I know, Mom. I need you to guarantee me that you're going to just take care of things while I'm gone. Can I count on you? Yes, Mom. I'll hold it down. I swear. I know you will. Okay, now we're backseat driving. I promise. Right. 
I could still use a few pointers. Mom, I'm ready. All right. Tell him. Colton, I did tell your sister that you would take her for ice cream after. All right. So you have to. As long as she's buying. Okay, seatbelts. I don't know. Maybe you were dreaming. No, I know what I saw. It doesn't seem like overkill. Huh? Dude, I'm responsible for Rachel, okay? If there's a midnight creeper moving in across the street, I need to know. Dude, <laughs> Yo, this thing costs like over $600. Yeah, it's expensive. Oh, well, if you splurging, buy me those headphones. Six hundred bucks, baby. Alright, you guys are lighter. You want to get this? Uh, you want this mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, one more. Thank you, sir. I would do it.
Why are you always watching that house? I know you made all of that up. You're weird. Rachel, <clears throat> remember what I said about new sheriff in town? Think of me as mom now. Meaning if you slip up, I can punish you. Meaning no more dessert, no TV, no scooters. You're not gonna do it. You're too scaredy cat to even go over there. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm Colton. Um, I live across the street. Who, who are you? I live here. Did you just try to get into our basement? Uh, no. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I, I didn't think anybody lived here. I, uh, nobody's lived here for a really long time, and I, I, I could have sworn that I saw this. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I should have knocked. I really should have knocked. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't startle you. It's OK. We just moved in. We're definitely the first people to live here in a while. Yeah. Um, well, uh, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm Heather. Oh, uh, Colton. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Uh, I should have knocked it. It's OK. I have to go now. OK. Uh, sorry. Yeah, man, I guess it was her dad that I saw, but the dude was like super old. Yeah, but anyway, I stopped filming because I don't know. I don't want to be like a creep, you know? But if I get her on camera, then I'm definitely a creep, so. Dude, this is money. I told you this was going to be your summer. You want invited to the lake? I'm taking the boat out tomorrow, and the whole crew is coming. Uh, no, man, I can't. I got Rachel. Wait, really? Yeah, really. I got you, man. All right? Now get off the couch and go over there and invite her. How'd you know I was on the couch? Go. 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 All right, all right, all right, fine. All Hang right. up. All right, all right, I'll call you after, man. That's nothing. Um, how's it going? Um, okay. We're cool. all moved in now, I guess. Oh, nice. Is there something you needed? I uh, actually was wondering. Um, my buddy Mike and his family have a boat, and uh, it's out on the lake. And uh, he, um, well, we are gonna have a little party. You know, get some people together. And I was wondering if, you know, if you were free, if maybe you wanted to come join us. But but if you if you have stuff going on or if you don't want to, I totally get it. Uh, That's so awesome. Great, cool. Yeah, uh, I, I can totally drive us. Too. I just um, I don't think that I can. Oh, sorry. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, no worries. Um, My uh, dad, he's really strict. I can't go out much. Totally understand. You know, maybe we can find another time or, you know, find something else to do sometime, you know, something more in line with your values or whatever. Um, I get the pushy parents thing. It's actually just me and my dad. Oh, oh cool. Uh, no siblings or anything? No. I wish. Well, uh, if you're in the market, I, I got a sister I can sell to you. Pretty cheap. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, so what are you and your dad doing this part of town, if you don't mind me asking? Actually, the last place we had was foreclosed on, so... We've had a lot of money problems. It sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. It must be tough. I should go. Oh. Sorry. Okay, yeah, no worries. I'll, I'll just hang out around here, so if you ever want to hang out. Bye, bye Heather. Um. seen fluffy ruffles she didn't come home yesterday Colton are you listening to me yes Rachel I hear you fluffy ruffles has ghosted on us for days you know that she'll be back all of this none of your business okay now go back to your room it doesn't look like any of your business either was well, less of your business your science partner is here a what your science partner she's waiting for you the school's been out for two weeks. I don't have a science partner. She said she was. She's waiting in the TV room. Oh. Give me. 
give me one good reason not to call the cops. Okay, look, it, I, I know that this looks really bad, but I promise you I am not a weirdo. Okay, just, uh, can, I, can I just show you something? Just uh, one thing? Okay. Uh, um, now, if, if you still want to go to the cops, I, I understand and I, I won't stop you, but if you do, maybe you want to show them this. Look, I, I know it's none of my business, but I think your dad is... Just He's honest. not my real dad. I was adopted, recently. It's not like he raised me. Look, I appreciate your concern, but you don't need to worry about him. He's old and probably confused, but he treats me well. So just delete all of this and take the cameras down, okay? Um, look, look, you, you don't have to tell me anything you don't want to, obviously, but, um... You know, maybe if he is up to something, maybe I can find out, you know, uh, about him or the house. If you just give me one more night, you know, I, I, I won't get in between the two of you, I promise. You can keep them up for one more night. Awesome. All right, thank you. Uh... Okay. Dude, why are you making us do homework right now? Did someone not tell you that it's summer? Just humor me, all right? The lake will be there tomorrow. Look, I researched all the headlines from 1951 to 52. And nada, okay? This town has always been boring. Yo, you find anything? Shit, yeah, I did. Here, check this out. Shit. Well, let's see. <coughs> Our neighborhood burnt to a crisp. Look at that. Hold up. Only one residence intact. One residence? Yeah. Ready to have your mind blown? Look at this. Bam. You're kidding me. No. Dude, that's why all of our houses are, you know, like modern and stuff, except for that one, okay? How does only one house survive? Four isn't enough. Uh, the night vision on the surveillance camera is only guaranteed to 100 feet, and the zoom's digital. This has an 85 millimeter lens and shoots 4K. So better night vision and image stabilization. It is nice, man. It'd be nice. What you got? What you got? Uh, nothing, man. You? Uh, yeah. Swing up to 2320. 2320. Oh, no. Hell? Oh, dude, Mr. Burroughs. Of course. Guess he still must be teaching ninth grade. Hmm. All right. Yo, that's it for me. I'm out to this party. So are you. Come on. No, no, no. I'm gonna stay here and find out more. You have fun though. All right. Call me if you need me. Will do. All right, man. I can't believe it. All right. How's that even possible? Are you, uh, are you okay? Did he do that? Oh, no. Um, I got kind of lightheaded last night. Fell down. Oh. I, uh, actually recorded him. You have any idea what he's doing? Hey, did he ever tell you why he adopted you? I've actually always wondered, too. I guess he's just old and didn't have anyone in his life. Um, I got you a little something. On TV, they call it a burner. So. Duh. Right. Um, if you ever need to call me in an emergency or, you know, if you ever just 
Want to talk to somebody cool? Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, is that, is that too much? Is that... My new phone number. Isn't this how they do it in the movies? Yeah, totally, in the, in the old movies, before cell phones were invented. <laughs> um, Heather, I, I never asked you your last name. Oh, um, I guess now it's Torvald. Torvald. That would not have been my first guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting used to it. Yeah, so that's your, your new dad's name? Yeah. His name is Magnus Torvald. So he's a Viking? <laughs> I guess. Call me later? Yeah, sure. Uh, bye. Hey there, um, I'm, uh, I'm Colton from across the street, um, wonder if Heather was home, or if she could come out, I'm a friend of hers. No. Oh, okay, uh, if you could just, uh, tell her I said hey, really appreciate it. Oh. in luck. Our policy is to destroy records after 20 years, but uh, only if the case is closed. Oh, so uh, was, was this case never solved? Well, I'd uh, never heard of it until you called, but um, when I read the file, it reminded me of something we'd uh, we used to get calls about way back, I mean, when I first joined. Really? Uh, like what, if you don't mind me asking? Well, uh, 
Have you ever heard of satanic ritual abuse? No. It was all over the TV in the 80s. Hundreds of cases reported, you know. Televangelists claiming heavy metal music was making people turn to devil worship. Law enforcement never found any evidence of it. It was total hysteria, but, uh, you know, stories like that, they make for some great copy. That's, that's crazy, man. Um, yeah, I, uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, all right, uh, thank you. Take care. Old directors have the address and the name. It's the same guy. So it's like he's been here for 70 years. Either that, you know, either that or he's like owned the place. But are you sure it's the same dude? Or is it just the same name? Honestly, man, I have no idea. But it's weird. I'll call you back. And then Eugene the Unicorn and his newfound friends enjoyed troughs and troughs and troughs full of sticky molasses oats. might be like a hundred years old. He's old. Okay. Sacrificed a Polly Fegan girl to the devil. Yeah. And, and you think he's going to do the same thing to heaven. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna go call a paddy wagon for you. Dude, I mean, okay, look, I, I don't, I can't prove the satanic stuff. Okay, I don't know if that's real, but there's definitely been some weird shit going on. Okay, what about all the missing cat posters around town? It's cats. Dude, satanic ritual abuse. <laughs> Just, I'm serious, man. Look it up. They take cats. So let's say, no, actually, let's not say you're right. Not even hypothetically. Why won't she just tell the cops what's going on, man? Because she's too afraid of him. Then Child Protective Services. You can't just call Child Protective Services, okay? I don't have enough stuff, okay? The, the, the videos that I have aren't proof of anything other than I'm a pervert, peeping Tom or something. Then get enough. I know, but it's bigger than the room I had growing up, I swear. Yeah, no, uh, no judgment. No. What? Do I look okay? Yeah, of course. No, yeah, you, you look beautiful. Um, how do you feel? I'm exhausted, but I can never sleep. I have these nightmares. Colton, what's happening to me? I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here, and you're gonna get better, and I'm gonna treat you right, the way you deserve.
Can I come in? I'm going to sleep. What do you want? I need to come in. No, you don't. Go away. This is my house. And for every moment you spend in my house, you've got to obey the rules. Why don't you lock this door? What are you hiding in here? Nothing. Now get out of my room, you miserable old bastard. No, nothing. Nothing. What's this? Fine, you found it. Now get out of my room! Someone gave this to you. What about an invasion of privacy? That's a crime, right? And what specifically are you referring to? Something you saw that you're prepared to testify about under oath? I need to show you something, right? Okay. This, this oh. is hooked up to my home surveillance system. And just, if you just push me right, right here. Just. <clears throat> you're saying you just gathered this, incidentally? Yeah. I noticed that uh, all four cameras are pointed in the same direction. Typically, these are used to cover as much of your own property as possible. Of course, right, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's all that I have installed at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on a, a, a check so I can get some more cameras in the back. These yours? Binoculars? No, oh, it was my, my dad's. Uh, he's, um, he's a bird watcher. Yes. You said your father's gone. Looks like you're using him. Right. Yeah. No. I I I do a little little birding myself, too. I don't know if you saw the pictures. And, uh, you know. Look, son. I was young once, full of crazy ideas. Now, what I told you at the station. That was just hysteria. But a lot of innocent people's lives got ruined by it. What you showed me right here could easily be construed as invasion of privacy, harassment. Now, I talked him out of filing a restraining order against you. Like, <laughs> the guy is abusing her, okay? I swear to you. I just, I, I might not have the footage, Consider but. Consider this 
officially on notice. Your neighbors' lives are their own. Next time, there won't be a warning, understood? Yes. Okay. Hey, how'd you get the phone back? Heather? Don't hang up. Listen to me. She's sick. Understand? She's not coming out anymore. Not until she gets well. I will be by her side every minute, praying for her recovery. Until then, leave her alone. Well Yo, you, you think it'll work? When I'm praying over her? Serious? The power of placebo. Whatever, look. My mom believes in all that laying on of hands type stuff. Yeah. I just wish I knew what caused it. It's not contagious, otherwise I would have it. No, you did. What? You, you did! <laughs> well, a little bit. We just, we kissed. Oh, hey, look, 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 she's in danger, okay? Just... We need to put this guy away, right? No one's gonna do this but us. I do. And a big favor to ask. Yo, you didn't bring that past my mom, did you? Thank you so much again, man. It'll just be a couple weeks. Weeks? <laughs> Forget it, man. No, uh, no. Take this up out of here, man. I'm not doing it. Dude, I, I wouldn't have asked you if I didn't think this was the only way. Come on. Yo, this cabin fever thing you got going, it's really taking you over the edge. Now, look, I met some cool cats at the lake last time. I called them up. Maybe go hang out, chill. I mean, it's Look, man, me. she's gonna die if I don't save her. All right? Period. And he might get away with it. All right? All right? 
that if you catch this guy, hey, we both go and see him. Of course. Okay. Yeah. And, and if you see my cat through that thing, you holler at me, huh? Yeah. Here, kitty, kitty. Fluffy ruffles. Mirror fluffy. Fluffy. Come here. Fluffy, Fluffy. Is that you, Fluffy? Hey man, can you check the connection on your camera and the feed's getting all weird? Call me back, alright? Funny, huh? Yeah. Don't leave me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> But her curtain is closed now, though. But you gonna jailbreak her out? No, I need a drill to unscrew those locks. The son of a bitch did a good job. Just please pay attention when I go in there, okay? Text is best. What are you gonna do? Kill him? Don't be insane. You guys been doing some seriously disturbing shit up there. Find out what. So maybe it'll give us a hand when it's my next. Jeez. <laughs> Can't believe I'm being an accomplice to this shit. Keep an eye
Back up, man. Don't waste time.
shit. Move, move, man, move. Man, you almost got me killed. No, I, I called him. I texted him. Mother... I almost called the cops. What, what, then what the hell happened? Oh, shit. Told you, man. Now, what'd you see in there? Did you get any proof? Dude, no, I, I was right, man. This guy is up to something very, very bad. Okay. So do we call the cops now? Uh, you know, forget it. I'm going back over there, dude. I got to get her out of there. And I, I totally understand, man. You don't have to help me anymore. I, I get it. Oh, shut up, man. Just tell me when. All right. Right, I'll call you. Be okay. So you want to do this, man? You didn't see the axe he was carrying. You need backup. Love you, bro.
Who kill you? I'm gonna get you out of this hell, okay? You understand me? You're crazy. <laughs> Only fools rush in. Thank you. to call to this address. We couldn't hear anything you were saying. You're clearly distressed. shock. The MT said she'll be okay. They took Michael to the hospital, but uh, he'll be just fine. I gotta do one more thing, okay? And then we'll go home, right? So it's true. All of it. We were at the Great Fire. Murdered that vegan girl? You don't understand, boy. There's no time. You don't gotta worry about time anymore. You got all the time in the world now. No, you don't. She's coming around. I was there. The parents of the vegan girl, they brought her up to me when they realized that this child was not meant to be. I mean, she looked like a human child. She was a demon, conceived in the sight of the Prince of Evil. So I performed the rites. And after 13 days, I summoned the shades of Abyss to come up and to take her back once she came. Back to hell. Your sister learned the truth. I tried to help her.
Her parents discovered the truth, and so did the orphanage. They gave her to me to banish her back to the lake of fire before she grew strong. How's that? I'm hungry. Oh, yeah? Anything I can get you, miss? How about a nice, fat fucking house cat? I told them how to contain her evil until I could bring her under my control. I performed the rites. I weakened her. You're an exorcist? I summoned the shades to come forth on the 13th day of the ritual. Now they're coming. Any moment. And if she is not inside that house, they won't take her. Now for the love of Almighty God. You are the only one that could do something now. You're the only one. We still have a lot to discuss. I'll call you. You're a good kid. Rachel! Rachel!